Welcome to our review on work and power. First thing we're going to consider then is work. So when we refer to work in science, we're talking about the transfer of energy and it's going to use forces to transfer that energy between stores. And we usually find that work is done against gravity or against friction. We need to know this equation. So again, this is one they're not going to give you. So you've got to learn it before the exam. So work done in joules is the force in newtons times the distance in meters. To give you an example of the kind of question they could ask you, then I found one from the old specification here. Miranda is shopping. She travels up an escalator. Calculate the work done when Miranda travels from the bottom to the top of the escalator. And then they gave you a not quite as exciting diagram as the one I've given you there. But the key thing to note on here is we've got a vertical distance and the length of the escalator. So they've given you two distances. And the trick in answering this question is to make sure you know which distance we're talking about when we talk about work. If we think back to the definition of work as being done against a force of friction or gravity, then hopefully in your own mind, you are working out that it's the vertical distance we're concerned with. So whenever they give you someone going up an escalator, going up a flight of stairs or anything that's got that diagonal length, that is something to completely ignore It's irrelevant. You want to know the vertical distance because it's in the opposite direction to the gravity in this case. So the two bits of information we're actually concerned with is the weight of Miranda and her shopping and the vertical distance. We then need to recall the formula of work done is force times distance, substitute in those two values and then work it out on our calculator. So 510 times by 7.8 gives us 3,978 joules. One thing to bear in mind when we're talking about these units a newton is a derived unit. So remember one newton is one kilogram meter per second squared. When we're talking about joules, they are also derived units. And one joule is the same as one newton meter. The second part to this is to look at power. When we're talking about power, we are talking about the rate of transfer of the energy. So the equation we need to know for this power, which is measured in watts, which is given the symbol of a capital W, is the work done divided by the time. So one of their old favorites used to be to have a two step calculation here. So they would give you the information to be able to calculate the work done with time so that you could work out power. They wouldn't just give you work done in the actual question itself. You'd have to work out work done first of all and then go on to the power calculation so again make sure you've learnt that formula because if you don't know the formulas you can't answer the calculation questions so to give you an example of the kind of question i'm talking about you run upstairs in 1.2 seconds your weight is 500 newtons and the vertical height of the stairs is three meters calculate the power because we're talking about a calculation question, the first thing we do is we highlight, circle, underline or jot down the key bits of information. So we've got 1.2 seconds, 3 meters and 500 newtons there. We can't jump straight into calculating power because power is work done divided by time and we don't have work done given to us there. But we do have the ability to calculate work done because work done is force times distance both of which are given to us in the question. So first thing we do is we calculate the work done. So 500 times by three, and then we divide that by the 1.2 seconds to give us our final answer of 1,300 watts. As always with our calculations, make sure you are writing down each and every step of your working in the answer space, not just typing into your calculator and writing down the final answer because if you miss a zero or hit a different number or a different key by accident, you get absolutely nothing out of what could potentially be a four mark question. If you get your answer wrong, but all of your working was right, you're still getting three out of four. So always show your working. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can define work. 
you can recall the equation for work done as force times distance and use that to carry out calculations. You can define the term power and recall the equation for power as work done divided by time. And you can carry out calculations, including a multi-step calculation using both equations at the same time.